questions. Welcome to Global InnoTalk 2024. I'm Kazuya Mauro from Osaka University, Graduate School of Medicine. Uh, today, I'm honored to uh, introduce um, Osamu Takeuchi from Kyoso Kyoto University. Uh, but before I uh, introduce him, I'd like to have two housekeeping announcements. One is about how to make a question uh, in this seminar series. Unfortunately, we cannot get the question directly. Uh, so if you have any question to Osama, please uh, make a question through the Twitter. I'm gonna explain how to make a question after his talk. And the another uh, announcement is about next week's uh, speaker. Um, on April 3rd, uh, we're gonna have David uh, Sancho from CNIC. Uh, Spanish National Center for Cardiovascular Research. So please don't miss it. So now I'd like to explain today's speaker, Dr. Uh, Osamu Takeuchi. Uh, Osamu uh, graduate uh, from Osaka University Medical School uh, in 1995 and obtained PhD uh, from uh, Graduate School of Medicine, Osaka University uh, in 2001. Uh, in 2002, he received a, a scholarship from Human Frontier Science Program and studied at Dana Harbor Cancer Institute, Harvard Medical School. And after coming back to Japan in 2004, uh, he became an assistant professor and then uh, associate professor at Research Institute of uh, Microbiology role uh, disease Osaka University and work with uh, Shizu Akira. And in 2012, Osamu joined uh, to Kyoto University as a professor, uh, first at the Institute of Virus Research and then moved to Institute for Frontier Life and Medical Science in 2016. And finally, he's now a professor of Department of Medical uh, medical Chemistry Graduate School of Medicine, Osaka University since uh, 2018. His outstanding contribution to Tolerike Receptor and Rignase 1 research have been acknowledged with uh, numerous um, awards and honors, including the Japanese, Japan Society for uh, Promotion of Science Prize and the uh, uh, Japan Academy Medal. He was also being recognized as a, a highly cited researcher by Thomson Reuters from uh, 2014 to 2020. So now, uh, Osamu, could you turn on your camera and show up? Yes. Uh, first of all, thank you very much to joining our program. Yeah, okay. thank you very much, Kazuyo, for your kind introduction. <laughs> and uh, yeah, actually, I'm now in Kyoto University. You know, oh, uh, last so year. Uh, in Osaka. I used to be in Osaka, you know. <laughs> <I'm so sorry. laughs> but it's okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, everyone, he is in Kyoto University. <laughs> He's famous professor in Kyoto University. I'm so sorry. Okay, so uh, yeah. uh, before uh, um, moving to your talk, I would like to uh, have one question. And the question uh, which I want to ask you today is, uh, could you share uh, one of the most impactful decisions in your scientific career? Okay, yeah, thank you for that question. In, you know, uh, as uh, Kazuyo uh, introduced, I was uh, trained, initially trained as a clinician. And, and uh, after clinical training for two years, I then decided to go to the, the research section for conducting uh, uh, the, grad, no, the graduate studies. But uh, at that time, I was uh, no, trained under uh, Professor Tadamitsu Kishimoto is a kind of big guy in the discovery of the interleukin-6 and also a uh, development of uh, uh, tocilizumab, the famous anti-IL-6 receptor antibody. Uh, and so initially, I was maybe I was supposed to be trained by him, but uh, somehow at the time I chose uh, Dr. Shizuo Akira's lab uh, for the research at that time he was no not famous like uh, before the discovery of the toll like receptors and uh i still don't remember the reason why i chose his lost lab 
but uh, at that time, somehow uh, Kishimoto kind of kind of a little bit angry to me that uh, why uh, no, I didn't choose you. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, somehow at that time, my intuition uh, kind of instructed me you know, to choose uh, Shizuo. And that was, yeah, it, it, it was very in the beginning, but uh, that was the uh, most kind of impactful decision for me. But uh, yeah, what I want to say is like uh, for, you know, if you are very newcomer for the research field and, uh, you know, uh, to, to start your research, I think uh, one of the most important things is uh, the, you know, choose the right place to to start your your research. So initially, that was very important to uh, you know, have a, the right uh, instruction and also right research field, you know, the timely field. So uh, the first, I think it's better to uh, think you know, thoroughly to the field, but uh, then the, the intuition is probably most important. And, uh, you know, and then, yeah, so I uh, think even after that, I think I had uh, several uh, decisions made, like uh, when I chose my labs for uh, conducting postdoc uh, study in the US, I was kind of trained by the Stan Kosmeyer who discovered BCL2, but uh, unfortunately, so uh, yeah, he passed away when I, uh, just uh, returned to, to Japan, but uh, he was diagnosed as cancer when I was there. But uh, yeah, such is life. So uh, but probably the intuition is most, most important, I think. Mm. Thank you very much. Do you have any, so now you have a long career and do you have any uh, advice for young people who want to choose next uh, lab? How, how, what is the most important point to choose uh, a lab to study? Uh, cause, uh, uh, so one, I don't know, just uh, in a short word, mm -hmm. uh, please don't listen to your, you know, boss's advice. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because uh, uh, even I myself feel like I'm getting a little bit old and uh, maybe uh, my thought is, could be a little bit old fashioned, but try to catch up. But uh, in that sense, uh, think by yourself. And of course, uh, don't listen to the boss's advice means uh, cause uh, need to, you know, digest your boss's advice. Totally agree. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. So now, uh, could you share your slide? For yes. Us? Yes, it's not the slideshow mode. Now I'm sharing uh, the slide properly or? Yeah, it's a presentation more now. Okay, so now is it okay? Oh yes, perfect. Mm -hmm. So if you're ready, could you please uh, start your presentation? Oh, okay, so uh, yeah, first of all, uh, I'd like to thank the organizers and also Dr. Moro uh, for uh, giving me this uh, great opportunity to speak at the uh, uh, prestigious global Ibuno talk talks, and uh, my name is Osamu Takeuchi uh, from uh, Kyoto University. And uh, I've been working on the post transcriptional regulation of the immune system, especially focusing on one uh, endoribonuclease uh, named Regnase one. So uh, I like to introduce uh, the function and the importance uh, of this post transcriptional regulation. But uh, uh, I used to be trained in Shizuo's lab, so it means uh, I was working on the uh, innate immunity. And uh, this, in the innate immunity, the uh, macrophages, dendritic cells, these cells are quite important to initially recognize the invasion of pathogens through the uh, specific pattern recognition receptors, like toll-like receptors. And then once uh, the receptor is activated by the pathogens, so they uh, initiate the intracellular signaling pathways to transactivate a messenger RNAs, encoding uh, pro-inflammatory cytokines such as TNF, uh, IL-1-beta, IL-6, type 1 interferons, and so on. And that 
leads to the cause of the inflammation, uh, which is in one hand uh, quite important for the clearance of the infection. But uh, on the other hand, the excess and uh, chronic inflammation uh, will lead to the cause of a lot of pathologies like uh, zeptic shock, autoimmunity, and even uh, metabolic diseases and progression of the cancer. So uh, at least in uh, physiological conditions, uh, the activation of the innate immune uh, cells uh, needs to be tightly controlled. And uh, looking at the, the situation happening in the inside of the innate immune cells, so the, uh, this, uh, the pathways uh, causing the uh, inflammation uh, should be uh, tightly uh, regulated and also suppressed when the uh, microorganisms has been already cleared. And uh, that is uh, made by uh, uh, many systems, but among them, the uh, degradation of the cytokine messenger RNAs is quite important for uh, the, uh, the resolution of the inflammation by suppressing the abundance of these cytokines. And uh, this process is not the uh, passive process, but uh, uh, very actively regulated, uh, especially because of the presence of some uh, cis elements or regulatory elements uh, present in the uh, non uh, uncoding, untranslated regions of the messenger RNAs, uh, particularly in the cytokine messenger RNAs. So uh, in these three prime uh, untranslated regions like UTL, uh, there are several elements like AUUUA, the AU rich elements uh, that are recognized by the, some specific RNA binding proteins like uh, TTP and AUF1. And uh, for the uh, stem loop structures, uh, some RNA binding proteins like Roquin uh, could uh, the recognize. And uh, also microRNAs can recognize some sequences in the three plant UTL. And uh, uh, these are uh, the factors recognizing the cytokine messenger RNAs leads to the recruitment of the RNA degradation factors like uh, CCR4 not deadenylase and all the, the decapping enzymes to induce the exogenous, uh, the ex exonuclease mediated degradation of the messenger RNAs. Uh, and however, uh, this is not the end of the story, but uh, we discovered uh, one RNA binding protein and uh, RNAs uh, named uh, recognized one, which uh, played uh, one of the key roles in regulation of uh, immunity. So the recognized one, uh, encodes, uh, encodes a, a protein covering a nuclease domain and a CCCH type zinc finger domain which is known to bind with uh, RNA and encoded in a, a gc 3 h gene. In the uh, recombinant recognition one, uh, it can degrade the, uh, uh, the synthesized RNAs, especially even the circular RNAs. Uh, means that uh, this function as the endoribonuclease. And a uh, one-point mutation of uh, this RNA domain catalytic site the, from one asparagic acid to asparagine leads to the, the, uh, the abrogation of this RNA activity. So the question is, uh, what is the substrate of the arachnase one for uh, arachnase one? And to make a long story short, uh, we found some of the cytokine messenger RNAs especially the interleukin-6 messenger RNA, uh, could be uh, downregulated by the expression of the recognized one. And uh, the mutation of this RNA uh, domain leads to the abrogation of uh, this degradation activity. So leading, uh, indicating that the recognized one function as an endoribonuclease to directly uh, uh, regulate the uh, IL-6 uh, IL production. And uh, what is the function of arachnase 1 in vivo? So when we generated the mice lacking arachnase 1 and uh, the checked the activation of macrophages from it, and uh, the uh, expression of the IL-6 messenger RNAs uh, after treatment with the LPS, a TLR4 ligand, uh, leads to the much higher uh, production of the uh, IL-6 messenger RNAs. So indicating that even in vivo, arachnase 1 is critical for 
the suppression of uh, IL-6 messenger RNA production. And not only uh, for the uh, macrophage activation control, the lack of the recognized one leads to the spontaneous development of the severe autoimmunity characterized by the uh, production of autoantibodies like anti-nuclear nuclear antibody. And uh, also uh, we found the uh, infiltration of uh, the uh, immune cells into various organs like lung. And uh, uh, the mice leads to cause uh, the, the death in the uh, a couple of months after birth. So initially, uh, we found Regnase one as a, a critical regulator of the macrophage activation by uh, degrading a set of cytokine messenger RNAs. Uh, but the uh, Regnase one is expressed in not only in macrophages, but also in the acquired immune cells like T cells and B cells. And the lack of Regnase one uh, just in T cells also leads to the uh, hyperactivation of the T cells uh, and uh, producing much higher abundance of IL-2 or, or express the post molecules and uh, leads to the uh, cause of the autoimmunity. And similarly, the uh, lack of recognized one in B cells leads to hyperactivation of the B cells. And uh, also in collaboration with uh, Kazuyo, uh, we also identify that uh, recognized one is a critical negative regulator of the ILC2 activation. And uh, also a little bit uh, lower abundance, the recognized one is also expressed in non-immune cells like epithelial cells and fibroblast to control the uh, activation of uh, these even the non-immune cells. So because of uh, the combination of uh, this recognized one function in various cell types, the uh, this protein uh, function as a break for the, uh, the immune cell and even non-immune cell activation in the body. So the next question is, uh, what, what is the uh, uh, specificity for the recognized one for the regulation of the target messenger RNAs? Uh, to, uh, to identify the uh, recognized one binding RNAs, uh, we, uh, we performed the uh, RNA immunoprecipitation sequencing, the RIP-seq assay. By this uh, analysis, uh, we found that the messenger RNAs encoding IL-6, uh, COX-2, and some other chemokines, NF-kappa BIZ, and even the recognized one itself uh, could bind with uh, recognized one. And uh, the gene ontology analysis of a uh, recognized one binding messenger RNAs revealed that the most of the uh, GO terms are related to inflammation, like response to wounding, inflammatory response, and uh, response to molecular, molecule of bacterial origin, and so on. And uh, further uh, heat script analysis, uh, which is trying to identify the uh, motif, motifs of the uh, RNAs associating with recognized one, uh, that analysis revealed that recognized one uh, prefer the uh, three prime UTR of the messenger RNAs, and uh, the recognized one seems to recognize the uh, stem loop structures. As you can see, the uh, the, the RNAs forming the structures are highly enriched in recognized and binding RNAs. And when we focus on uh, these uh, stem loop structures, uh, we found some specificity in a, a loop sequences, and like UAU. And uh, together with the experimental validation, uh, we found that the, uh, this kind of the stem loop structures uh, hovering the pyrimidine prim pyrimidine loop sequence uh, is important for the recognition by the recognized one, and also the suppression of the messenger RNAs uh, by this protein. And uh, so, uh, we found that uh, the recognized one uh, bind with uh, this stem loop uh, in uh, stem loop, but uh, this stem loop structure is uh, recognized not only by recognized one, uh, but also uh, by the roquin, another RNA binding protein. And uh, these two proteins uh, seems to share the uh, target messen uh, target stem loop structures, but uh, uh, looks uh, they function. Uh, in a uh, different uh, cellular locations. So recognized one uh, looks to be mostly localized in 
the uh, ER membrane or uh, by binding with the ribosome. And uh, the degrade the target messenger RNAs uh, together with the uh, termination of the uh, protein translation. But uh, in contrast, uh, Roquin uh, is preferentially localized in the stress granules and pea body, which are known to uh, be the uh, storage of the messenger RNA or the place for the degradation. And uh, uh, also leads to the uh, uh, induction of the degradation uh, independent of the protein translation. So oh, it looks like because of the presence of these two uh, break system of our inflammation, the, uh, the immune cells are tightly controlled. So as I said, uh, the uh, rectinase mediated mRNA decay required the protein translation. So we further explored the uh, molecular mechanism, how this could be made. Uh, we found that, that even before the translation, the regnation seems to be associating with the, uh, this stem loop. However, in that uh, conditions, regnation cannot digest its uh, target messenger RNA. However, following the translation of the termination, uh, helicase protein called UPF1 is recruited and uh, to the uh, this stem loop and associate with the rectinase one following the uh, uh, phosphorylation by a kinase called SMAC1. And uh, this association uh, leads to the unwinding of this stem loop and a uh, uh, change in the structure of the RNA. And uh, in that sense, uh, because the uh, uh, RNA activity of the rectinase one rather prefer the single-stranded RNA, so that uh, RNA structure modification uh, leads to the, uh, the degradation of the target messenger RNA uh, following the termination of the translation. So this system is uh, quite reminiscent of uh, uh, the mRNA degradation system called uh, uh, nonsense mediated mRNA decay, a quality, uh, quality control system of the uh, messenger RNA. And, uh, of course, uh, recognize one is an uh, important break of uh, uh, information. The, uh, we found uh, this recognize one uh, expression is even the post-translation translationally regulated. So, uh, for example, in uh, macrophages, following the uh, TRL or IL-1, IL-17 receptor stimulation, the uh, uh, and uh, IKB kinase is uh, activated. And uh, this IKK, in, fun, in one hand, uh, phosphorylate IKB alpha to activate nf -B. But in addition, uh, it can directly phosphorylate recognize one through the D uh, canonical DSGXXS motif. And uh, this leads to the, uh, uh, the proteosome, the ubiquitin proteosome mediated degradation of the, the recognize one. Uh, facilitating the uh, production of the cytokine messenger RNAs. So like uh, releasing the break when it's, uh, the, uh, when the uh, information is uh, needed. And uh, similarly, even in T cells, the TCL stimulation leads to the inactivation of the rectinase one. But in this case, the mechanism is a little bit different. The uh, MOT1 protease is activated and uh, cleaves the rectinase one and again, inactivate the recognize one uh, to uh, activate, contribute to the activation of the T cells. And uh, our recent attempt uh, revealed that uh, recognize one is uh, also or involved in various uh, human diseases. So the first example of the, uh, the human disease that involved in recognize one is ulcerative colitis, which is an uh, inflammatory bowel disease uh, affecting uh, so many people in the world. So in the course of uh, uh, UC, that because of the inflammation, the uh, intestinal um, mucosal inf surface, mem uh, surface cells uh, can be damaged and uh, further uh, uh, the, the degradation, further uh, death of the, these uh, crypt cells. And then when uh, this damage, is happen damage happens, uh, that these crypts could be repaired by the uh, fission of a uh, surrounding crypts. So uh, because of uh, this uh, 
repeat of such a damage and uh, repair, we hypothesize that uh, in the conditions, uh, there could be some introduction of the mutation in the uh, this UC uh, epithelial uh, cells. And uh, in collaboration with uh, uh, Seishi Ogawa's lab, we performed uh, this uh, genome, genome analysis of uh, creeps of the UC patients. And uh, in this uh, analysis, we found uh, the mutations in the, uh, to be honest, various uh, genes in the uh, UC, pa UC patients' uh, epithelial cells. So oh, many of them are related to the uh, IL-17 signaling, like uh, NF-kappa B, IZ, and uh, A20 IL-17 receptor, IL receptors. And among them, we found the, uh, the, uh, the GC12A, the gene encoding the regnesum. And uh, so in the case of a regnesum mutation, the, uh, the mutation is highly enriched in the uh, special motif DSGXX. The, uh, the sequence, the uh, amino acid phosphorylated by the IKK. So because of that mutation, uh, uh, the, uh, the, this mutant uh, recognized one uh, failed to be degraded by the uh, IL-17 stimulation. And uh, additional mutation found in the, the recognized one in UC patients uh, uh, that was found in the three prime, uh, the, sorry, the uh, CTAM part of the uh, recognized one uh, leading to the truncation of uh, this recognized one protein looks to be a further uh, stabilizing the uh, recognized one expression. And uh, because of uh, this uh, impaired degradation of the recognized one and a high expression, uh, seems to uh, be a beneficial for suppressing uh, this uh, inflammation, even the IL-17 rich inflammatory condition in the UC patient, the uh, intestinal cells. And uh, that could be facilitating to the spread of these mutant uh, cells. And uh, this uh, looks, looks to be kind of uh, the adaptation in these uh, inflammatory conditions. And uh, not only you, uh, you see, uh, we found that the, uh, there's uh, some correlation uh, between the recognition expression levels in the PBMC with uh, several the, the human uh, inflammatory diseases. An example is uh, a pulmonary arterial hypertension. So in, the, in this disease uh, patient, we found that the uh, decrease of uh, recognition expression in PBMC, and even in the patients, the uh, lower uh, recognition expression in PBMC uh, leads to be uh, related to the, uh, the more severe disease, uh, the uh, more or exacerbated uh, event-free survival. So suggesting that the lower recognition one expression uh, is related to the plural prognosis. And uh, not only in this, uh, we found uh, that the, uh, in the mouse models lacking recognition one in the uh, macrophages, uh, the uh, pulmonary, uh, pulmonary arterial hypertension seems to be much more exacerbated. And uh, we discovered the arachnase one expressed in alveolar macrophages uh, is uh, involved in the uh, suppression of these uh, cells to prevent the uh, cause of pulmonary vascular remodeling and to cause the uh, occlusion of uh, these pulmonary arteries. So like this, the, uh, we found that the arachnase one is involved in the ulcerative colitis, pulmonary hypertension, and some other diseases like pulmonary fibrosis and multiple sclerosis. And, uh, but on the other hand, uh, because the arachnase one is an uh, important the, uh, suppressor, break of uh, uh, immune, cell, uh, immune cells, uh, there are uh, several attempts to deplete or the, uh, T, the uh, arachnase one in the T cells, such as CAR T cells. Uh, that could be uh, leading to the Higher, higher activation of, of uh, these CAR T cells to uh, kill the cancer cells. Therefore, indeed, uh, the uh, recognized one 
uh, is uh, very important, uh, could be a good therapeutic target of uh, immune inflammatory diseases. So therefore, uh, we uh, try to uh, uh, but try to develop some uh, method uh, to control lignase one to uh, uh, to regulate the inflammatory diseases. Uh, for this purpose, we took advantage of the uh, interesting uh, regulatory system of lignase one, the uh, self-regulation, which means uh, lignase one protein degrade its uh, own messenger RNA. So uh, this is uh, involved in the uh, the re-expression of our recognized one when uh, this recognized one protein is uh, degraded by the post-translational modification. And indeed, uh, that was uh, found in the, um, the uh, macrophages following the stimulation with uh, LPS. And indeed, uh, the recognized one messenger in a three prime UTL have us, uh, these two uh, stem loop structures that could be recognized by recognized one and indeed suppressed by the uh, lignase one overexpression. And uh, the important thing is that lignase one messenger RNA is uh, very highly unstable uh, because of uh, uh, the lignase one self-regulation in a steady state. So uh, to uh, control the, uh, this uh, lignase one self-regulation, uh, we uh, try to use the antisense oligonucleotide technologies. So these uh, ASO technologies have been uh, rather used to suppress the, the target, target RNA activity function. For example, by uh, degrading the, uh, the target messenger RNAs or the suppress the, uh, the translation. And in some cases, it was, uh, ASOs are used to control the splicing. But because uh, recognition of mRNA is so unstable, we thought uh, the, this ASO disrupting the mRNA structures in triplime UTL could uh, in the opposite function in the opposite manner to stabilize the uh, messenger RNA. In, in this study, we used the uh, morpholino or modified nucleic acid because of uh, its the, uh, nuclease resistance and uh, also to minimize the off-target effect. So our strategy is like this. So because of this uh, constant self-degradation, self to inhibit this, we designed the uh, morpholino oligonucleotides to hybridize with the uh, stem loop structures to inhibit its self-regulation. And uh, by uh, this manner, uh, we can uh, translate the recognition uh, protein from this messenger RNA. And uh, this recognition could uh, regulates the uh, inflammation. And indeed, this 3 prime UTL could be stabilized by, uh, partially st stabilized by each of the morpholino oligo, and combination of these two leads to a much higher stabilization of the uh, lignase and 3 prime UTL. And uh, furthermore, when we uh, introduce the oligo into bone marrow macrophages, the uh, lignase and messenger RNA could be uh, highly expressed, especially when we introduce the uh, oligo in the combination of these two, uh, two stem loop structures. And uh, this combination leads to the higher expression of arachnase protein. And uh, not only the arachnase messenger RNA and protein levels, the expressed uh, arachnase one could uh, suppress the cytokine messenger RNA expression like IL-6, IL-1-beta, TNF-alpha, following the LPS stimulation. And the transcriptome analysis revealed that uh, various uh, cytokines and chemokines could be suppressed by the uh, oligo treatment. And uh, even the uh, protein production of cytokines like IL-6 and IL-1-beta could be suppressed by oligos in a dose-dependent manner. So uh, the, uh, this oligo treatment uh, could be successfully uh, suppressed the activation of the macrophages. So then the question is, what's the efficacy of this oligo in vivo? So uh, we took advantage of uh, several mouse models to uh, check the activity of the oligo in vivo. So first is the uh, intratracheal treatment of the oligo 
to uh, express the recognized one in the lung. So uh, indeed successfully uh, increase the expression of the recognized one. And at these conditions, uh, we again uh, treated the uh, mice with uh, LPS in intratracheally to induce uh, cytokines. And these cytokines are nicely suppressed by the oligo treatment. And uh, together with the cytokine suppression, the recruitment of the neutrophils uh, was also suppressed uh, together with the uh, amelioration of the histological changes in the lung uh, because due to the uh, LPS. So indicating that uh, this uh, oligo treatment is uh, beneficial to uh, ameliorate the ALDS-like uh, acute uh, inflammation mass model. So oh, what about the uh, function of this oligo in the uh, autoimmune setting? So oh, because uh, we found that uh, regenase one could be also involved in the multiple sclerosis, the neuronal uh, inflammatory autoimmune diseases. And uh, also we and other groups has uh, shown that the uh, Regnase one uh, haplo insufficiency uh, leads to the exacerbation of a mouse model of the multiple sclerosis, sclerosis uh, exp experimental autoimmune encephalitis. So therefore, uh, we took advantage of the intracranial treatment of the uh, uh, the mice with uh, these oligos, leading to the augmentation of the expression of regnase one in the spinal cord and also in the brain. So uh, when we uh, in, in, induce, introduce the uh, EAE to the mice and before the onset of the disease, uh, we intracranially inoculated uh, these oligos, which leads to the very nice uh, amelioration of the clinical scores of EAE just by the one shot of this uh, the oligo. And uh, together with the uh, reduction of uh, the recruitment of the inflammatory cells to the spinal cord and also the uh, inhibition of the demyelination. And uh, to further uh, analyze the mechanism, how the uh, oligo uh, ameliorates the uh, EAE, uh, we performed the single cell sequencing analysis of our spinal cord immune cells that leads to the identification of uh, neutrophils, uh, macrophage monocytes, and uh, acquired immune cells. And uh, by the uh, oligo treatment, we found the uh, very nice reduction of the neutrophil recruitment. And even in the resident uh, macrophage populations, uh, we found that there's uh, some uh, nice char characteristic changes of uh, uh, microglia, microglial cells, which is, uh, which are known to change from the homeostatic uh, status to the activated uh, microglia status in the uh, diseases. Uh, but uh, these changes uh, could be uh, suppressed by the treatment with uh, uh, the oligo targeting this recognition struct, mRNA structures. And consistently, the, uh, when we uh, sorted the microglia cells, uh, from the EAE mice treated with the oligo. Uh, in the microglia, we found the uh, regulation of the recognition expression together with the uh, suppression of cytokines and chemokines, so suggesting that the uh, microglial cells could be uh, at least one of the target of uh, these oligos uh, for, for, the, uh, for inhibition of uh, neuronal inflammation. So uh, like this, uh, we found that the, uh, because of uh, our uh, long history of uh, regnation research, uh, we found that uh, the we can uh, take advantage of the antisense oligonucleotide technologies to uh, inhibit the self-regulation of our regnation. Uh, that could be uh, leading to the uh, augmentation of the regnation mediated suppression of the inflammation. And uh, that could be also uh, useful to uh, suppress the acute uh, autoimmune uh, inflammation, and even the uh, chronic inflammation could be suppressed by the, the this oligo treatment. Even though I don't have the data, the time to show the data today. So uh, 
also、uh, we found that、uh, these、uh, stem loop structures are also conserved in a、uh, human recognition.、Like、And、uh, we are now、uh, trying to、uh, Uh, use these oligos against human recognition, 3' mutual,、uh, to、uh, suppress the inflammation in uh, human uh, uh, autoimmune, autoimmune、uh, patient samples. And、uh, I'd like to、uh, also、uh, talk about the function of the、uh, recognition one and its family member in the、uh, control of the、uh, immune cell differentiation, not just activation. So,、uh, as I introduced, the recognition one、uh, is characterized by the presence of RNA domain and a zinc finger domain. But、uh, based on this definition, the recognition one has、uh, four family members、uh, in mouse and human. And among these、uh, family members,、uh, based on the changes in the eye expression following inflammation or the、uh, expression levels in the、uh, Progenitor cells, there's a quite nice similarity between the recognition one and the recognition three. And、uh, our hit script analysis revealed that the、uh, recognition one and recognition three have as a quite a similar binding motifs of uh, target uh, messenger RNAs, like similar the stem loop structures having the、uh, UAU or pyrimidine prim pyrimidine、uh, tri loop. Uh, sequence for sequences for recognition. So we hypothesize that the,、uh, the recognition one, recognition three, might also、uh, function in the control of the immune system and also question what, what's the a relationship between recognition one and, and recognition three. However, when we generated the recognition three a single knockout,、uh, we didn't find Uh, almost any, any phenotype. And,、uh, and also, when we generated the recognition one and three double knockout,、uh, we found that the、uh, macrophage activation、uh, in this double knockout was、uh, quite similar to the、uh, phenotype found in just in the、uh, recognition one single knockout. So,、uh, in the activated or differentiated immune cells, The function of the recognition one seems to be dominant, and the recognition three alone、uh, seems not to be so important. However, uh, our uh, analysis of、uh, immune cell differentiation revealed that there's a, a nice、uh, redundant function of a recognition one and recognition three. And I'd, I'd like to introduce some of the data. So,、uh, this, as you can see, Uh, when we perform the、uh, competitive transfer of a、uh, Y type or double knockout for the recognition and tree to check the peripheral、uh, immune cells,、uh, we found that、uh, there was a, a very clear reduction of、uh, the lymphocytes、uh, like B cells and T cells, and instead the、uh, increase of the myelo cells in the absence of the recognition one and tree. So,、uh, This、uh, phenotype was not observed in the Regnase 1 or Regnase 3 single knockout、uh, mice.、Uh, therefore, we hypothesize that、uh, the Regnase 1 and 3、uh, could regulate the、uh, bone marrow differentiation of、uh, these immune cells. And we checked the、uh, bone marrow cells to see the、uh, B cell progenitors and found the、uh, pro and pre B cells. Were similarly reduced in the absence of recognition one and three, and rather increase of a、uh, uh, myeloid and megakaryocyte erythroid populations. And even the、uh, uncommitted、uh, progenitors,、uh, when the cells are a little bit、uh, prone to be differentiated toward the、uh, lymphoid lineages by the expression of free three,、uh, there's a nice reduction in the absence of、uh, the recognition one and three. And of note,、uh, that even though the,、uh, the progen even the progenitor cells were decreased, the、uh, HSC populations, their numbers were comparable、uh, among control and、uh, uh, double knockout cells. So we hypothesize that the regnase one and three function in、uh, these、uh, HSC populations to control the differentiation. 
So to analyze uh, this function, we performed the uh, uh, single cell seek analysis in the uh, bone marrow or stem and progenitor cells uh, in collaboration with uh, Dr. Ido Amit's lab. And uh, they have previously uh, took advantage of uh, the meta cell anal analysis to characterize the uh, bone marrow progenitor, uh, bone marrow cells uh, to see the cells in rather uh, undifferentiated or some uh, dif the cells differentiated toward astroid or myeloid or lymphoid populations. So uh, when we applied uh, our the sequencing data for the, the uh, HSPCs, so uh, in the wild type conditions, uh, we found more balanced expression, pro uh, balanced uh, the presence of a uh, uh, megakaryocytic, myeloid, uh, lymphoid uh, cells. But uh, uh, in the absence of recognized one and three, the cells are uh, committed or more or cells expressing the characteristic of uh, lymphoid lineages. Uh, so these cells are quite uh, nicely underrepresented. But, uh, but uh, uh, the cells uh, showing the, uh, the gene expansion patterns a little bit uh, towards the asteroid or myeloid cells are uh, much more highly uh, overrepresented in uh, this TKO. So, so suggesting that even in this HSPCs, the uh, balance in the 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 the, the cells uh, which was uh, primed for towards the uh, lymphoid populations uh, could be decreased in. The, uh, this, this TKO conditions. So the uh, recent advances in the single cell technologies reveal that the, uh, the differentiation system of uh, uh, HSCs toward immune cells were not like uh, this uh, hierarchical system to the stepwise the differentiation for the losing the uh, lineages for the different uh, different immune cells. But rather, even in the HSPCs, there's some uh, biases toward the uh, the the some specific uh, immune cell types. So uh, I don't have some uh, time to show more data, but uh, uh, for other proliferation cell death and some other um, uh, data also support that the Regnase one and three uh, seems to be important for the uh maintaining the maintaining maintaining the balance of uh, these HSPCs to uh, uh, produce the uh, cells uh, primed towards the uh, lymph lymphoid lineages, and uh, in the absence of recognized one and three, uh, the the even the HSPC populations are much much more or bias uh, for towards the differentiation towards the uh, uh, asteroid and uh, uh, myeloid populations. So these conditions are reminiscent of the uh, stressed hematopoiesis or even the aging. So the next question is about the uh, molecular mechanism for it. So uh, by the analysis of this single cell data, uh, data we found that there are uh, some uh, messenger RNAs uh, upregulated in DKO, and many of them are more or myeloid signature genes, but among them we found uh, two gene sets like NF kappa B and IZ and EHD3, which were not characterized in the H uh, HSPCs for their functions. And uh, we took advantage of a uh, uh, in vitro differentiation system for uh, B cells and also uh, myeloid cells, and uh, try to express uh, this pro uh, two, two messenger RNAs mimicking the DKO situations. And uh, even though EHD3 expression didn't do anything, the nf kappa -B IC expression leads to nice suppression of, uh, C, uh, the, B, suppression of the B cell differentiation. So it uh, seems uh, this protein, uh, this gene seems to be critical for the uh, control of uh, the, the uh, immune cell differentiation. And indeed, the uh, nf kappa -B IZ messenger RNAs can bind with both recognized 1 and recognized 3. 
So the NF kappa B I C is a nuclear protein and reported to bind with associate with the uh, uh, NF kappa B uh, P50 subunit to control the uh, cytokine production in the innate immune cells. And uh, the uh, the NF kappa B I Z seems to suppose uh, control the epigenetic uh, status, the chromatin remodeling. So uh, to check the uh, function of NF kappa B I Z in the these conditions, we uh, generated the mice lacking the NF kappa B I Z together with the regnase one and uh, regnase three. So in these conditions, the uh, the uh, these decreased B cell populations was nicely rescued by further de further uh, depletion of NF kappa B I C, and same is true for the increased myelo cell population that was also rescued by the uh, NF kappa B I C deficiency. So indicating that the uh, NF kappa B I C is a very critical target for the uh, regnase one and three for controlling the uh, immune cell differentiation. So finally. Uh, so we, again, uh, try to think th that the antisense oligo technology could uh, lead to the regulation of nf kappa B I C messenger RNA expression. And uh, as you can see, the, uh, using the reporter system, the uh, nf kappa B I D 3 prime UTR could be suppressed by the expression of pregnancy 1 and 3 in a nucleus-dependent manner. And uh, indeed, the, uh, there are uh, some stem loop structures uh, in the uh, D3 prime UTR potentially regulated by the uh, NF kappa B I C, and among them that the stem loop three and four have as a very canonical sequence that could be recognized by Regnase one, and therefore we designed several unsense oligonucleotides trying to uh, disrupt the these stem loop structures, uh, and among them. The, uh, the stem loop three and four unsense oligonucleotide have as a, a most uh, effective activity to uh, stabilize uh, this messenger RNA. And uh, we designated this as a NF kappa B I C uh, ASO. And indeed, uh, the introduction of this ASO leads to the stabilization of a NF kappa B I C messenger RNA and uh, increase the NF kappa B I Z protein expression. So uh, using this system, uh, we uh, try to analyze if uh, the, we could uh, manipulate the, uh, the, the bias of uh, these HSC, HSPCs uh, in vitro. Indeed, uh, when we use uh, this HSC culture system, and when we introduce the oligo, NF kappa B I Z A so, uh, again, uh, we could increase the NF kappa B exp I Z expression even in the, uh, the cultured HSCs. And uh, when uh, we use these cells, the, uh, we found a uh, quite nice increase of uh, myeloid biased uh, HSCs uh, characterized by the increased surface expression of the FC gamma receptors, even though they have a, a HSC characteristics. And uh, when we uh, try to uh, induce the uh, differentiation by treatment with the cytokines, uh, we could see the much uh, but, no, drastic increase of these populations. And not only these myeloid biased uh, HSCs, the uh, more, more myeloid differentiated cells are uh, also uh, highly augmented by the uh, introduction of uh, NF kappa B I C. So indicating that these ASOs are really efficient to induce the uh, myeloid uh, biased HSCs uh, driving the myeloid differentiation. So uh, uh, this uh, study revealed that this recognized one and three expressed in the HSPCs uh, is important for maintaining the uh, balanced lineage output by constantly constant degradation of uh, NF kappa B IC messenger RNA. And uh, by the, uh, the lack of regnase one or introduction of uh, unsense oligonucleotide to inhibit the uh, degradation of NF kappa B IC by regnase one and three uh, leads to the uh, augmentation of uh, NF kappa B IC 
which is important for the uh, acceleration of the myeloid uh, gene different myeloid differentiation through the uh, chromatin remodeling. So in this talk, I just focus on the uh, function of pregnancy one and three in the control of uh, immune cell uh, activation and differentiation. But of course, there are uh, some other uh, regnates of family members. And uh, also uh, to the uh, conservation in the RNA stoming, there are three more members like NF N4BP1, KHNYN, and uh, NYN bin. And uh, we are also working on these other family members, and we have uh, previously reported that the N4BP1, uh, this protein function uh, to suppress even the exogenous the viral RNA. In this case, uh, the RNA derived from uh, the HIV-1 and uh, characterize this protein as a novel uh, HIV-1 restriction factor. So uh, one interesting thing is that the uh, of uh, N4BP1 uh, is this uh, protein could be also or creeped by the MOT1 in the course of uh, T cell activation. And uh, because of this recognition, the, uh, the HIV1 uh, could be more efficient in infecting in the uh, activated uh, T cells. And also, uh, this could partly explain the uh, reactivation of uh, uh, HIV1 uh, latent cells. And uh, the control of the uh, immune cells by post-transcriptionally. So this is not just by the mRNA degradation. And uh, uh, the motif I introduced today, the secondary, the stem loop, stem loop structures recognized by Regnes van and Roquin. But besides, there are uh, many uh, elements for the regulation of uh, uh, RNAs. And, uh, in addition to this rather static sequence, but recent studies reveal that the uh, mRNAs could undergo rather dynamic modification, like uh, maturation by messenger RNAs, and even the uh, the the sequences in a codon, the codon optimality could be also important for the regulation of the messenger RNAs. So, but uh, the the entire mechanism of uh, this control of the inflammatory messenger RNAs is almost uh, understood, uh, not at all. So we, uh, after uh, so the further research, researches are required uh, to uh, uncover these pathways. And I think uh, this uh, messenger RNA control system uh, will be also or used uh, is important for the, the understanding of uh, pathogenesis of uh, autoimmunity or infectious diseases. And that could be also beneficial to the develop no, even novel uh, therapies against immune diseases. And so uh, that could be also used to improve uh, the mRNA medicine and vaccines. And uh, finally, I'd like to acknowledge uh, our uh, collaborators. The, uh, so most of the work is done in, works are done in my lab. And the last part of uh, this study on the recognition tree are uh, done by my staff member, uh, Takuya Uehata. And uh, the recognition uh, ASO study was done by my previous student, uh, Tse Kaman, uh, with the help of the other lab members and also the many collaborators. And uh, Thank you very much for your kind uh, kind uh, attention. Thank you very much, Osama. Uh, I think uh, so many people want to uh, make a question for your presentation, but uh, I hope you're going to respond to the question through the Twitter. So could you turn uh, turn the uh, stop the sharing? And I, I just want to share one slide, uh, how to make a question. Thank you. Um, so if anyone uh, have a question uh, for Samu, uh, please um, 
Yeah. So please uh, make a make a question uh, through the Twitter. So search for account uh, Global Inbox and find tweet that said uh, ask a question for Dr. Osamu Takeuchi here. And uh, play uh, to that uh, Twitter with your question and uh, please mention uh, Global Immune. So uh, that's all for today. And uh, thank you uh, very much, Osamu, again. Uh, thank you very much. And okay. I'm happy to answer any question you may have. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you, you too.